Let us understand the relation between profit revenue and cost function. Given revenue function as minus 2x square plus 32x, cost function c of x as equal to 14x plus 45. For the given pair of revenue rx and cost function c of x, determine profit function. And part 2 is find the value of x that maximizes the profit. Now profit function, let us say profit function p of x is actually equals to revenue minus cost. So we can find profit function by difference of revenue and cost. So it is revenue minus cost. So it could be written as 2 of x square plus 32x minus the cost function which is 14x plus 45, right? So this is how we can find the profit function. Profit function is revenue function minus cost function. So we are given revenue function as minus 2x square plus 32x and the cost function is 14x plus 45. Their difference is going to give us profit function. So now let's open the brackets and simplify. So we get minus 2x square and we have 32x minus 14x will give us plus 8 and to 18x and minus 45x. So that is the profit function. Now if you have to find the value of x that maximizes the profit, what we can do is we can do partial factoring and then figure it out. This is 45. So partial factoring Let's factor the first two terms. We'll get minus 2x is a common factor. So you're left with x minus 9, minus 45. Now from here, the maximum will be at x equals 2. We can equate 2x times x minus 9 to 0, right? Because the vertex of the profit function will be same as that of the one with this function, right? So it is at x equals 2. This is 0 at x equals to 0 and this is 0 at x equals to 9. So therefore, axis of symmetry is going to be at x equals to 0 plus 9 divided by 2. So we get 4.5, right? So the profit function is maximum at 4.5. Now why is it maximum? Since you have minus 2x squared so that means the parabola is opening downwards and therefore we have a maximum for x equals to 4.5, correct? Now in this question, uh, for a pair, we are not given units of x, find the value of x that maximizes the profit. At times it may be written in thousands of numbers or something like that, but in this case it has not been specified and therefore we will write Find the value of x that maximizes the profit. The value of x is 4.5, which is going to maximize the profit. And therefore, our answer is x equals to 4.5. I hope you understand this partial factoring. It is a very effective method of finding. Otherwise, you have to do uh, completing the squares. Or also, what you can do is you can find it uh, by placing x equals to minus b by 2a. So here b is 18, so you can write minus 18 over 2 times a, 2 times minus 2. That is minus 18 by minus 4 and you get the same answer, 4.5. So either way you could find the maximum, uh, so x is of symmetry which gives you the maximize, the value of x that will maximize the profit. Okay. So I hope you understand this. Thank you. All the best.